Hey guys, welcome back. So today I wanna to talk about something that I don't think many people talk about. You know, when they start trading, they just go straight into it. You've got all these things telling you about the candlesticks, the chart patterns, but in reality, figuring out what type of trader you are is gonna give you a massive head start. You know, I wish I'd have done this and much more work in this uh, when I first started trading. I wouldn't have spent years kind of breaking even before I even made any decent money. So this is a really good this is a really good exercise to do even if you don't listen to the, like my kind of approach to it even just doing it yourself before you go headfirst into trading is a great idea and there's a famous saying and I'm probably going to absolutely butcher it but Abraham Lincoln I believe said it that if he was given five hours to chop down a tree he'd spend four hours sharpening the axe and that's kind of the same thing with trading if you think you've got a career ahead of you or however long you want to be trading for if you spend a good time focusing on the type of trader you want to be, your setups, your strategies, and all those other things before you actually get stuck into the market, you're probably, in fact, I would almost almost guarantee it, you're going to have better success than you would if you just dive straight in. So let's talk about some of the ideas that I think you need to look at to work out the type of trader that you are. The first one to me, let's use a different pen, uh, mix it up a little bit. <clears throat> let's go with the red, uh, is time. So... What I mean by that is, you know, what is your individual lifestyle at the moment? What sort of time do you have to get involved with trading at the moment? Do you work full time? Do you run a business? Do you run a business part time? Uh, is this now your full time operation? Uh, what is it? And then you kind of have to look at the hours as well. So the hours that you can commit. So whether you do run a business or whether you um, have to take your kids to school or pick up your kids from school or you have other commitments, that is going to affect what you can and can't trade. You know, as an example, and we'll go into some deeper examples in a moment. But as an example, if you wanted to perhaps trade the opening drive or the opening session from a day trading perspective on the DAX or the FTSE, but you have to do a school run, it's not going to work for you because you need that eight o'clock until nine o'clock time zone, which is when obviously you're going to have to drop your children off at school. Or if you work uh, in the morning and you have to be there at nine, that's not going to work for you. Similarly, you, you know, in the evening, you can trade the Dow in the evening between the seven o'clock and nine o'clock hours. That's really popular for people who are working full time or running businesses. Or perhaps if you're working shifts, then you can you can change and, and adapt and, and maybe run uh, trade currencies on the days that you're off, that kind of thing. So we'll, we'll talk more about that in a moment. But one thing I want you to, to kind of think about is sit down with a pen and paper and say to yourself, listen, uh, what am I, what days can I trade? So we've got hours, days, uh, and we can go kind of weeks, but in reality, this is the most important. These are the most important hours and days. So what days can I trade? So can I trade Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, or do I have commitments on one of those days? Write that down. And then writing down in terms of what hours you can trade during that day. Now, this this matters if you're a swing trader and a day trader. I'm going to come to that in a second in terms of um, the type of strategy that you're going to employ. But doing this exercise may well highlight some things that you hadn't thought um, you know, were, were meaningful to you, whether you're going to choose to be a swing trader or a day trader, regardless. So Monday to Friday, what can trade? Then we're looking at hours. This is a case of, listen, can I trade in the morning, eight o'clock until 10 o'clock? Can I trade at lunchtime? Can I trade in the afternoon? Can I trade in the evening? That may differ from days commitments that you've got, but you know, trading should be all about fitting into your current lifestyle. And if you do have all the time in the world, if you do, then you need to kind of say, okay, I'm flexible that I can choose to trade and I can shuffle my other commitments or the other things that I like to do in my life around trading. However, I still need to come up with a structure of when I'm gonna be most focused on the market. So uh, this is kind of a good thing. And also the other thing to do with your existing commitments and your lifestyle is to say, what kind of person are you? Do you know, some people are really, really good and on the ball first thing in the morning. They're bright, they're up, they're up early, they're exercising, they're at the screen, they're alert, they can take advantage of these kind of things. You know, some people prefer to kind of wind up during the day, do some things during the day, and then they're more alert in the evening hours. You know, you know that yourself as a person in terms of, you know, what your own biorhythms are, to use that word, what your own personality is, how you work best. So... Spending some time on number one here, which is the time, uh, the time, time. Hours you can trade, days you can trade. Let's forget about weeks for now, but you know you may want to say, okay, well, 
I can't really commit. What I, what I mean by weeks is if you decide to day trade, for example, and you can only day trade for the next three or four weeks, it's probably not worth getting involved in it because it's gonna take you that time to get in tune with it. So understanding as well what commitments you've got coming up, perhaps if you do work shifts or if you've got, you live abroad for certain few months a year and your, your connectivity is not as good, perhaps then you need to look at swing trading rather than a day trading perspective. So all these kind of things, taking time, writing down, commitments, time you've got available, when you've got available, uh, how those commitments affect the time you've got on the screen. Are you able to monitor uh, the markets and your positions remotely? So if you make trades in the morning, can you monitor them purely from a perspective of you've got orders in, limit orders or stop orders in, but you just wanna see if they're triggered for your phone. Can you access that or in you, are you in an environment where phones aren't, you aren't able to access your phone? All these kind of things, just literally brainstorming all of this and you're gonna at least have a starting point so we can now build a type of strategy that fits in with that kind of time constraints that you've already got in your life.